We have won the league too. We are currently leading the average rating player and the top goal scorer player. And there is no way anything is going to be changing in this last episode. But we have two games to go and we could make history by surpassing the most points in a season of 102 and by winning the most games in a season of 32. Currently, we're on 101 points and 32 wins. Sorry. 102 points so we just need one point to beat the record can we do it in our last two games of the season i would be very very disappointed if we did hey guys and welcome back to our 11th episode of the efm 22 salford city road to glory with me Raxel with Femme, where today we are going up against Mansfield and Stevenage in our final two games of the league campaign, where we are trying to make sure that we get the top goal scorer and, of course, break some records. If you guys are excited for today's episode, please make sure you smash the like button on today's video, as well as subscribing to the Raxel Femme YouTube channel. Can we please end the season with a high with 10 likes to end the season i think it's going to be brilliant of course we're going to be going over the season review the league two awards and hopefully breaking some records in the process since last time we saw each other of course we did manage to clinch that promotion place i think that might have been on camera but off camera of course we managed to make sure that we did win the league however we had a, a hiccup in there a 5-3 loss at home against barrow pretty bad but uh, we have turned it back around, winning every single one of the other games. The old him game, not so great either. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling confident going into these last two matches. Mansfield down in 8th place, whereas Steamed Inch down in 17th. We should be coming away with wins. And let's jump into today's episode. I don't think I've edited the squad. So you know what? You, no, actually, I was going to say you're going to come. Well, I... I was about to say you're going to come with me and do it, and then I was about to say you're not going to come with me and do it, but I think it's actually just going to be just as fast to just have you come with me and do it. No, actually, it's going to take a while. I'm going to, I'm going to pause. This is the team that we're going with for today's match. Sorry, I just I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long episode if I just mess around too much. So we're going with Richford. Richwood? No. We're, we're on a time constraint here, Rack. So come on. Richards, Hunter, Crowley, Ibe, Lund, Barmby. Then we've got Clark, Fagan, Walcott, Turnbull, Toure, and of course a goalkeeper in between the sticks. I really need to just learn how to say that. Well, it's the last game of the, the season. So to be fair, I don't really need to learn his name. But I mean, I, I am looking to sign him because I think his contract is expiring at the end of the season. So I'll, we will need to learn it if he does come in next year. It's not even that hard. It's Kovar. How am I not? What, why have I been avoiding saying that all season? That's, that's really easy. I'm disappointed with myself. I'm better than that. Bambi, playing it in, can't get it onto anyone's noggin, but the chance is still going on. Jordan Ibert, right wing, been playing quite well recently, so I'm hoping he continues that on camera today, actually pushing for those first team spots quite frequently at the moment. So I'm giving him a chance, and I think he'll, I think he'll take it in this one. And... Richards almost taking that first chance of the game, wanting to be that top goal scorer. Unfortunately, not finishing that one. I think no matter what, he's going to be our top goal scorer for the season in this competition. Uh, I think he's, what, like eight goals ahead of the person below him. So it, you'd have to really mess it up to not um, not get that win. But I'd still like to see him get a couple more this year. He's, he's pretty close to getting a perfect goal per game ratio, but he is a wee way off at this current point in time. So if he bags... You know, two in this game, maybe a couple more in the next game. He could be at, at going towards that record, but I don't think it's quite going to happen. Crowley with a great chance in there, hitting it wide of the post, though. And it is a dominant performance by us so far. Leading this game in terms of shots, XG, all that good stuff, but not on the scoreline. So I am disappointed with the performance out there, and I'm thinking about making tactical substitutions already. But these boys could prove me wrong and manage to score a goal here. And, and maybe I wouldn't be bringing one of them off. Lund playing it into Crowley. Oh, no, he's coming off. Yep, no, that, that's all I need to see. Henderson, he's finally back from injury. And I think he deserves to have a wee kick around. He's one of our best players. He was brilliant when we had to unfortunately take him out of our team because of that injury. And it's not him popping up there, but it is, of course, Richards popping up to score a goal for us to put us 1-0 up. And although Henderson not, you know, directly involved in that, I think it had something to do with him. I think he's managed to somehow get a touch in there. I, I I don't know where he was, but maybe maybe he won the corner. For all I know, he won the corner, and that's what we're going to go with. Super sub by me. I'm proud of myself. And after 60 minutes, I've only had one shot, an XG of 0 
realistically we should just be adding to this tally instead of being worried about conceding but with the fear of conceding looming over the top of me i am going to make my second substitution lund is coming off and we're bringing uh hunt on on that left central midfield spot box to box midfielder on oh, don't score here i've hit it over the bar thank goodness that's what we needed to see and we've got one last substitution but i think i'm going to wait until like the 80th minute to make it i would like to see us add another goal to the tally but it's um i mean it's a win but i'm a little disappointed that there's not exactly a killer in instinct being shown by the boys tonight but at least we're coming away with the win and well, we still have six minutes of football left to play but we will be breaking the record as things stand can it happen by beating this team by a slightly more convincing margin if we score in this chart this chance this highlight or this I, I was confused between the two that i wanted to say so i just sort of went ja and it, yeah no it didn't work out very well did it boys and girls richard putting the ball in and morris the super sub comes on gets a goal and he makes it look much more comfortable now and it was comfortable the entire game we've been in control we deserve a comfortable win on the scoreline and we deserve to be breaking this record we have been incredible all year and the confirmation is about to come. Okay, I, I thought we were going to get confirmation, but no, that header over the top of the bar leading to a goal kick will probably confirm it. It does. And we have broken records in this competition as well as winning a second to last game of the league campaign. We could even smash the record by, by winning another game here, getting some more points on the cards. Is it going to show us that we've... It's not showing us that we've broken the record. I imagine at the end of the year it will... Um, it will update and because you normally get a notification about it so yeah we've clearly just beaten them in terms of the the wins but why aren't they giving us points most points in a season were they like no we've got more points than that 102 points we've got 105 points i guess that one will be confirmed at the end of the season hopefully if they don't give us that i'm gonna be quite upset but let's go play the final game of the season then wrap it up with awards records and of course the season review here we are last game of the season and i'm of course stoked to be here playing against stevenage first versus 17th there's not a lot to play in it for both of the teams this is the team that we're going with a very very strong 11 some transfers wanted for our man kovacs i think his contract is expiring it is expiring at the end of the year we can't offer it yet you best believe i'm going to be offering it as soon as it expires though we're getting henderson back into the starting lineup hoping that he can link up get a couple of assists to help richards but for now let's sit back relax and watch us do our thing i mean surely we're not ending this with a loss i want to get another win to add to our record that we've just set of what 33 wins in a season that is mental for the league too where you pay 46 games in a league campaign obviously being undefeated would be yeah, that would be pretty insane but that's just completely unrealistic <laughs> getting a result like this i think is, is pretty pretty insane i'm proud of the boys and i'm proud of myself i've done well with this eighth um and i think we all know that I've, I've i've been known to be pretty average at football manager but so far this year i'm bossing it with the liverpool beta save and with this one and uh i'm just happy to be here to be honest we almost got a thousand subscribers as well i'm, I'm just going on a tangent now but like is it uh, life is good life is good in terms of football manager youtubing isn't it oh henderson sticks it into the back of the net and he makes life even better coming off the bench from the last match getting that assist or oh, did he get an assist i don't think he did i don't know why i've given him some credit there but he scored in this game and that's the important thing clark with the assist who has been playing brilliantly at that right back position i think that's what he's going to lock down next season to be honest he's not a right winger he does not play well at right wing but he plays very well at right back hunter on the ball another player that i'm not so certain about but i don't know a decent rotation option i, d I probably won't get rid of him i'm not going to be you know, saying no to any transfers or offers that come in for him crowley what a hit sees the goalkeeper slightly out of position and just i don't know bangs it with the outside of his foot foot his foot and puts it into the bottom corner put us 2-0 up on the night what a what a beautiful shot crowley bang look at that the goalkeeper it's not even right in the bottom corner he's just got the awareness to see that the goalkeeper is out of position and he puts it into the bottom corner brilliant stuff that is not so brilliant but at least they haven't scored and we're still 2-0 two, two up the clean sheet is still happening i imagine we've got a shout for the golden golden glove i think the the clean sheet person i mean i, I don't remember getting a whole heap of clean sheets but 
We definitely have gone through phases of getting quite a lot, so I think we'd be in with a decent shout. Lund on the ball here, goes for the shot and just puts it over the bar. Richards being very quiet in this game, actually, can we mention? Two goals scored, and he wasn't even slightly involved in either one of them. That is rare, and it's also rare for us to be conceding. And unfortunately, that clean sheet bonus, it's gone for all the defenders. But I'm not going to complain. We're still playing a beautiful game of football. And just before halftime, we could have one more highlight to try and put ourselves a wee bit more in the driver's seat. No, okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. We're, we've had a good half. Conceding one goal is, is a bit... Uh, unfortunate, maybe not what we want to be seeing, but it's not the worst thing ever. Hunter picking up an injury here, at least it's at the very end of the season, and Jordan Ibe is going to come on in that left-hand side. I'm, I'm keeping Richards on. I just want him to score. I really want him to score in this match. Is this Henderson stepping over it? Oh, no, it's Bambi. I thought it would be Henderson. Bambi stepping over it, and he puts it against the goalkeeper, and he tips it wide of the post. It's a great save by him, and we have a corner now. We're very lethal from corners. Not lethal from that one though, it's been headed away, Turnbull picks it up, looking for a ball into the mixer, actually plays it back to Bambi, who puts it back in, Lund for the header, and it goes straight into the goalkeeper's hands, and surely that's the end of the highlight, yes it is, and we've got another one, Bambi, he, oh, that, that's just not even words, is it, I've just kind of had a, no, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll move on for that, won't we boys and girls, uh, Jordan I moving it over to Crowley, into Richards, into Henderson, and is he going to double his tally on the night, no he hasn't, wow, that is, um, that's unfortunate for him, because he is a lethal finisher in front of goal, but not quite finishing that one there, Mm, unfortunate, and it's going to be even more unfortunate if we concede here, but it's not going to happen as Henderson clears it long, Richard picks it up, goes around the defender, he's looking for someone to support him, but he's going to have to guide himself at this rate, Bambi, Lund, oh my goodness, we have seen two beautiful goals by our players in this match, and it is a brilliant way to be ending the season, we could have some contenders for goal of the season in the last match of the season, I'm going to make my second substitution of the game, Shepard coming on, although Clark has played very well, he is looking a wee bit tired out there, I mean it's the last game of the season so it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, I like Shepard, he probably deserves to have a, a wee bit of a kick around out there, we've ended up fouling them, but I don't think we're going to see the highlight, as it, no, we are seeing the highlight, could be a goal opportunity for them, onto the woodwork, yeah that's why I get for, and we're probably not going to see the highlight, only 20 minutes of football to play in the season, I think it's wrapped up in this game. But can we add another one to the tally? They've got the ball. Playing it forward to Andrande. I believe he used to play for Salford last season. I swear I remember having him in my save last year. Or someone that had... He was like a left winger. I'm checking. A left winger from Portugal. Is it him? No, nah, it's not. It's not. Okay, well, there was definitely a left winger from Portugal that had a name that was like... Andrande, I, 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 I have no idea, well, I'm going on a tangent, probably not the right episode to be going on a tangent for, but we're going to make our last substitution, and it's going to be Richards to come off, he's just played too poor in this one, and so Asawe is coming on, I still don't know how you say that name, but Asawe sounds good to me, and he could be scoring a goal here, as we have another chance, going in for the header, but it's collected by the goalkeeper, I'm sure he's going to clear it long, and I'm sure we're going to be winning this knockdown, I, I just guarantee it, honestly, I guarantee it, we're winning this knockdown, and we've got the ball back, what did I say, what did I say, I knew it was going to happen, Jordan I puts a ball over the top now, Asawe off the bench, was it a magical, no, it wasn't a magical sub, that is um, horrendous, you, you throw on goal and you kick it basically straight at the goalkeeper, but it doesn't matter, because we've won the game, We've won the league, we're going up to the league one, and it is all finished for the year. Professional performances in the last two games, nothing insanely special apart from a couple of goals there. 3-1 win, and was it was the other one a 3-1 win? I want to say it was a 3-1 win. No, it's 2-0. I knew there was a two-goal margin, though. And Lund's on form, apparently, and now we have to find out what is happening in the season review and who is winning the awards for the Skybet League 2. That's what I want to know. That's genuinely what I want to know. I want to see if any of our players are getting some serious recognition for what they have done this year. Of course, Richards has to be up there for the top goal scorer. But who's going to be winning the signing of the season for us? All those sort of accolades we're finding out right now. The new arrivals, there is a lot of them. First one being Fagan Walcott. What a signing this man is. If we can get him back on loan, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Scored 11 goals from centre-back. That's mad. Uh, Bambi ended up being a great signing as well. Central midfield, 14 assists, 3 goals. Lots of average rating there. Absolutely love him. 
and Daba not bad either. Didn't play him as much as he probably did deserve. If he's is his contract expiring at the end of the year? If it is, oh, I'm gonna definitely no, it's not. Okay. If it was, I would have definitely gone in for him because he is a tasty player as well. Morris ends up being a pretty good signing. I don't think I'm did I make that one? No, I don't think I made that one. He's come in and he's got twelve assists, seven being a oh, what's his rating? Give me the rating. I love I love the ratings. Come on, you can't not give me the rating. Go back, there we go. He's got a C plus. That, no, that's harsh. Tom Field, great left back option. Loved having him this year. Shepard getting a B. Rodo Richards, of course, getting an A. Fair, absolutely fair. Kovar, A plus. King, C. Love, C plus. Crowley, C plus. Yeah, not quite the player I expected him to be, but not a terrible player at all. Josh Clark getting an A plus. Love to see it. Lund getting a B minus. Alex Hunter get, Hunt, sorry, getting an A plus. Ibe. In a B minus, I think that's pretty fair. Not the best player of all time, but definitely not too bad. Aaron Ramsey getting a B plus. McAlney, uh, Matt Willock, all getting very average rating. Oter B minus, and Osawe B minus. And I think we already know a couple of the results that's going to happen here. Had a great FA Cup one, probably the biggest performer out of the the, the small sides. I'd say I'd I'd like to say. So we'll see what happens. When that final does occur, I mean, you probably won't see it, but I will, I will. The goal of the season actually came in an FA Cup game, and the match to remember was a 4-0 win, and then the biggest win was 5-0. I'm surprised we didn't win by more than that. And we've got some serious commercial revenue in there. Crowley with the most shirts sold. Wow, he has not been that insane. Richards, Lund, Asawe, and Torre getting the most. Asawe, really? Okay. Yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, Richards, Hunter, Henderson, Morris, Lund, Barmby. Then we've got Shepard, Fagan, Walcott, Turnbull, Toure, and Kovar. I think that's probably fair for our best 11 of the season. Hunter, very average on that left wing, but it had some sparks here and there. Player of the season goes to Fagan, Walcott, and I think that's absolutely fair enough. Young player of the season, of course, Fagan, Walcott. Signing of the season goes to Barmby. That's fair. I mean, Fagan, Walcott, not actually a signing, so I imagine he doesn't quite get that so i can i can understand that goal of the season goes to ramsey uh rodell richards gets the top goal scorer and most assists for Barnby. then we've got most player of the match awards going to fagan walcott my highest average rating going to fagan walcott as well and uh, yeah no we don't care about the passes per 90 a lot of records being set but i imagine that's because you know it's the start of the save so no records are actually there salford flew out of the traps and set themselves up for the promotion many fancied them to win and we did exactly that didn't we boys and girls what a performance by us this year and it's not over yet because we're going to continue the save of course doing another season transfer special coming tomorrow and now we have to find out what the board want us to do next year mm, okay let's take a look at this uh they want us to next year they just want us to finish mid table i want a back-to-back -back promotion to be honest uh I, i'd say all of that's fine normally i try and negotiate some stuff out but I, i'm fine with every single one of those things and we're going to accept all of that club vision next year i guess i'll just say mid table but like, let's not get too ahead of ourselves they're pleased with that what do we want to do in in the rest of the competitions do we even talk about them no no we don't okay that's that's fine team report squad end of season break yep fine um league two awards happening they happening oh no we have to wait the oh for goodness sake i have to wait for the, oh, the, the for the playoffs to happen that's just annoying oh how long is that gonna take i'm so impatient aren't i know boys and girls I, I, come on like the, the the first i guess this one's just a first game let's go schedule schedule it's the final is on the 28th 19 days away i could do some serious transfer business at in that time probably going to do some serious transfer business in that time so i'm gonna go do some transfer business have to hide it from you and then we're going to go over the awards the awards are finally here and i actually didn't make any signings since last time we saw each other but we have set a record high for our finish in the skybet league two first place of course breaking some serious records there we did manage to break the record for the lowest amount of defeats for salford with six losses in a season very proud of that one record high points for salford we also i don't know apparently assigning this man okay yeah no we'll go with it not happening but all right fagan walcott of course winning the player of the year he's got to be winning it he was amazing incredible all season long and if i can get him back online we will be doing that in an absolute heartbeat and of course we've got richards also 
a former Spurs player winning the top goal scorer with 33 goals in 41 appearances. That's a great return. I'm, of course, the manager of the year. I mean, I, I did do a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. And we've got players involved in the best 11. A lot with players involved in the best 11. We've got Richards, Bambi, Lund, uh, Shepard, Fagan, Walcott, Turnbull, Toure, and our goalkeeper in between the sticks. I imagine... I did think there would be a, a goalkeeper award, but I, I don't think it's actually ended up happening. Let's take a look if there's anything else we did. No, I think I think that's all the stuff that we could actually have gotten. So we did pretty well overall. Player of the year, goal scorer of the year, lots of players in the team of the year, and that is a beautiful way to be ending this season. And now. I am actually going to go do some transfers to so make sure that you do not miss tomorrow's episode where we will be going over all those transfers and of course, well not starting the season, but getting ready to start the season, that is the plan anyway. League One, here we come, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.